Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. In this video, we'll discuss the third problem of lead code weekly contest 314. It's a medium level problem. Uh, I think it's it's a, a relatively better problem than, than the other third level problem that you get into the contest, right? Uh, the problem name is using a robot to print the lexographically smallest string. You are given a string S and a robot that currently holds an empty string tree. Apply one of the following operations until S and T are both empty, right? So what 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 are the operations that you can perform? Now you can remove the first character of a string S and give it to the robot. The robot will append this character to the string T. What is the other operation that you can do? Remove the last character of a string T and give it to the robot. The robot will write this character on paper. Return the lexographically smallest string that can be written on a paper. Uh, so yeah, let's I'll, I'll just take the examples given in the problem. So the first is ZZA. So uh, initially, basically, you have two things S and T. Now this is S, right? And T is an empty string. We need to compute P. P is the string that uh, the robot will write on the paper, right? Now let's see. So the first operation is initially S is this and T is empty, right? So you, you you can remove the first character of a string and give it to the robot so the robot will append it to the string t so just take it so this is removed s becomes this t becomes z all right now uh, similarly you can do it again so this becomes a this becomes z z similarly you can do this again so this becomes empty and this becomes z z and a all right this this becomes uh, z z and a right now now the problem is saying this is one operation the second operation is you can ask the robot now it is not sequential that you do not need to perform one operation continuously you can perform it in any order obviously it should be a valid operation now the second operation is if you ask the robot the robot will build, pick the last character uh, of, the, of the string t and will write it on a paper so initially the paper is empty it will write a here so t becomes z z you can again ask the robot robot will pick the last character it will write it on paper again robot will pick the last character it will write on paper so doing these two operations removing first character from here and appending la uh, at last position and removing the last character from here and then writing it in paper right so doing these two operations we need to form the lexographically smallest string that can be written right now what is lexographically smallest string just see character a has an ascii code less than b this has an ascii code less than c and so on still small z right this is the thing now whichever string whichever string has uh, suppose uh, there is a string a b z d a something like this now just see here though z is here though z is here but if the string is written in this format a a z d b so just see just consider the first position both are a a till here no difference is there consider the second position here the difference is there now here the ascii code of b is greater than ascii code of a so that means this is a lexographically smaller string so what we mean to say is forget about the characters which are after it for, uh, consider two strings and the first place where their character is different whichever string has the lower character or the character having lower ascii code that is a smaller string right so why i was telling it this is because this will help us in understanding that we can follow a greedy approach greedy approach mean means we can try to pick up the characters which have smaller ascii characters even if doing so some of the characters having uh, large ascii values come at uh, relatively lesser positions but the initial position should have the uh, characters having the least ascii value right what i mean to say suppose you form a string a a z b then it is a better string as compared to a b a z right so here you see greedily we took up two two a and put it in the beginning uh, and uh, though z was here now uh, this string is better uh, don't don't see that z is here at the last position so this string is better just consider the uh, first point of difference to find which which one is the smallest string right now as i told you it's it's a sort of greedy approach 
uh, why why it's a greedy, greedy approach because picking up the minimum characters at every step will help us uh, basically in forming the smallest string now uh, what is the second thing that we we can do so if you consider the operations that are given in the problem then removing the first character and putting it in the second string right removing the first character from s and putting it at last position at t right then or appending at t and then uh, if you do this so basically you can see this is basically uh, the implementation of a of a uh, of a stack right why you pick first character you put it here let's call it a then whichever character uh, has been appended at last will be picked and written up on the paper right so that means you pick up characters and put it in a uh, in t whichever is the last appended character that will be written on paper so basically that's a stack that 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 means last in first out right so uh, or first and last or whatever you call it so that is why we will be using a concept of stack here so what we can do initially let's calculate the frequency of every character let's take an array of frequency of 26 and calculate the frequency of every character now suppose the frequency of a here i'm taking frequency of a is 2 then what will happen you do one thing you keep on adding the characters so pick up one character from s add it in the stack don't write t here actually t is basically a stack here right so what do you do you write that character suppose that was x now once you have written it uh, you you can basically decrement the frequency of, of this array why because this frequency is representing that how uh, what all characters with the corresponding frequencies are still present in s that i can process right whatever has moved to the stack that is of no use for us right i'll tell you why then then what will happen you pick up one character put it in stack now at every step also check that what is the minimum character that i can have in my system what is the minimum character that i can have here right uh, that i can have in my string s right now suppose the, the minimum character that you can the, that you still have in s is a and the character on the top of the stack is suppose c then obviously you will prefer a over c right so that means do not push do not pop anything from the stack rather keep on pushing the values on the stack right keep on pushing the values however if there was no a present in s now right right so what you will do suppose the uh, smallest ascii value of a character which is still present in s is c however the topmost character which is present on the stack is a that means a is of our interest the smaller value will be of our interest so what we'll do we'll pick up this a and append it in our paper string right and that is what we'll be doing right we do that we do it at every step and then finally we greedily get the minimum string now there will be conditions where what will happen after you have processed all the things your stack still has some characters already pushed into it so you pop each character and append it in your paper string and then we are good to go right so the basic concept here to understand was that the string t is doing operations in such a way that that we can use a stack to perform it and also to get the lexicographically smallest string we take a greedy approach so that whenever we we, we at every step we check that is the, what is the smallest ascii value present in our string now if that if somehow we can uh, uh take that value uh, at initial stages we will get a smaller string right so that is what we'll be doing now let me just show you the code that will it will become more clear uh, yeah so you can see on st let's start from line number 11 that is the main function uh, so my i calculate the length of the string and then, then i calculated uh, calculate the frequency of each and every character that is done simple stuff on line number 18 i have taken a stack to basically depict the operation done by the op uh, string t right i have taken on line number 20 a string builder just to optimize the thing so that i do not construct new and new strings a string builder we basically just append the character that is just an optimization you can sort of skip it for right now on line number 21 you can see i, I am traversing the string picking up each character now you push that character onto the stack right and decrement the frequency of that character now on line number 25 and 26 what we do while the stack is not empty we check what is the topmost element on the stack now if that is less than that has a lesser ascii value as compared to the minimum uh, ascii value character present in my string s 
right that is still present in s then i up then i basically pop that value from the stack because i want to pick the minimum value and i append it into my answer array i keep on doing this now let's first go on to the function that i have called on line number 25 that is present on line number 3 get min character is a basic just utility function what it does is it checks that what is the smallest character which is still has a frequency non zero so i just do that on line number 9 i have returned a dummy a just because otherwise i'll have to uh, add some conditions so just to simplify the code i've done it so you can see on line number 5 if frequency of i is not equal to zero just return that character so that is what i am using on line number 25 right you keep on doing this at every position check that is the topmost character smaller or a character still present in my string s is small whichever is small i'll prefer that simple stuff that is why on line, line number 26 i am only pushing that onto the in my answer and popping it from stack then the character at the topmost position in stack is a small right now on line number 29 you can see once i break my loop finally uh, after traversing all the characters my if my stack is not empty then pop each and every element and that uh, then just append it into your answer and just return it right uh, basic stuff but still better than the other problems that uh, we, we third level problems that we see in the contest right so i hope you learn something new from this video uh, if you have any queries then do mention that into the comments i'll be more than happy to revert on each one of them if you find this channel useful do subscribe to it um, also like the video if, if you learn something new uh, i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye